Hello everybody. Uh, we are now going to talk today about two important aspects in ophthalmology which might cause irreversible blindness. Globally, the WHO estimates that there are nearly 285 million people whose vision is impaired, about 40 of which are completely blind and around 240 million or more have impaired vision, low vision. Now the unfortunate affair is one in three blind people in the world live in India. In India, approximately 18 million of persons suffer from blindness and 85% of this blindness could have been prevented. The common causes of blindness as the general people are well aware are cataract, glaucoma, uh, refractive errors and retinal diseases. Common retinal diseases causing low vision and irreversible blindness are age-related macular degeneration and diabetic retinopathy. Prevent Blindness has declared February as an age-related macular degeneration and low vision awareness month. According to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, AMD is a leading cause of vision loss in people aged more than 50 years or older. As many as 78% of patients first diagnosed with age-related macular degeneration have already suffered irreversible vision loss. Nearly half of them are diagnosed with a visual acuity of less than 20 by 200 or worse. In developed countries, age-related macular degeneration is a leading cause of severe irreversible vision impairment. Now, what is age-related macular degeneration? It is a medical condition predominantly found in elderly adults, which the center of the inner lining of the eye, known as the macular area of the retina, is affected. This can loss, this results in loss of the central vision of the eye. Patients usually present with a black spot at the center of the vision. It can extend to other parts of the area of the eye and can lead to irreversible vision loss. These things, this condition, this age-related macular degeneration has certain risk factors with it. For example, family history, cardiovascular disease, and of course, smoking. So when you counsel a patient, then you must be aware that you must counsel them about the risk factors which can be prevented. There are different methods of treatment of ARMD. ARMD is broadly classified into two forms. One is the dry form of AMD, another is the wet form. There are different treatment modalities for treating both of these, which will be described in detail by your consulting ophthalmologist. However, my job is to inform the general public that you must go in for regular checkups if you are above 50 years of age or you suffer from obesity, cardiovascular diseases or if you are a smoker. I shall now cross over to the condition known as diabetic retinopathy. Now diabetic retinopathy affects a large amount of the population and we have seen that the incidence of diabetic retinopathy is directly proportional to the number of years that diabetes has been present. Broadly classified, diabetic retinopathy is of two types. One is a proliferative and another is a non-proliferative type of diabetic retinopathy. Whatever might be the classification, if you are diagnosed with diabetic retinopathy, you must go in for regular checkups with your doctor and the doctor shall perform certain tests like a retinal scan or an angiography and shall advise you as to the best possible course of treatment. These treatment schedules might include injections of certain chemicals into the eyes, photocoagulation with ophthalmic lasers or in severe cases surgery. You must go in for regular checkups if your blood sugar is uncontrolled 
If you have a sudden drop in vision while you are going about your day-to-day -day activities, you must not ignore these symptoms as a lot of elderly patients do complain that they have lost their vision suddenly without any predisposing conditions, although they were diabetic. It is not always possible for a person who is diabetic to exactly locate when his vision, uh, when he loses his vision, because he might have good vision in one eye while the other is going through a very bad situation in the retina. So your aim is to consult your ophthalmologist and get to him as fast as possible to check up your retina, do the relevant tests as advised by your ophthalmologist. Thank you very much.